this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. You ever hear people laughing about unicorns in the Bible? Ah ha ha ha, you believe in unicorns? Oh boo hoo hoo hoo. Stupid Christians. Uh, but where in the Bible does it say a unicorn is a horse with a horn sticking out of its forehead? Well, let's take a look. In the King James Bible, the word unicorn appears nine times. Numbers 23, 22. God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. Numbers 24, verse 8. God brought him forth out of Egypt. Who? Israel. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 17. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. And they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. Job 39 and verse 9. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee? Hmm, good question. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? You ever hear uh, people say, yo, man, I'm going to the crib. Well, talk about the house, right? Job 39.10. Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow? Or will the Har or will he harrow the valleys after thee? In other, these are farming terms. You know, you you're not going to take a unicorn and put a yoke on it and plow the field. Not going to happen. Okay, it's not like an an ox or a pair of horses. Psalms twenty two twenty one. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. He maketh the uh, Psalms 29, verse 6. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. Psalms 92, 10. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. And lastly, Isaiah 34, verse 7. And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat. With fatness. So, there you go. So, what is the unicorn? Well, in Encyclopedia Britannica, Britannica.com, we read the following. It's written by Eric Dinnerstein. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The Indian rhinoceros ooh latin the latin designation you've heard of genus and species and all those well that's how they break it down it's called rhinoceros unicornis rhinoceros unicornis rhino uh, if you ever go to a plastic surgeon and they have what's called rhinoplasty. Rhino means nose. I'm not sure if it's Greek or Latin. I believe it's Latin. Yeah, I think it's Latin. But unicornis, U-N-I-C-O-R-N, unicorn with an I-S on the end. The Indian rhinoceros, rhinoceros unicornis, also called the greater one-horned rhinoceros, the largest of the three Asian Rhinoceroses. So you've got African rhinos that have more than one horn. And uni means one. You ever heard of a unicycle? One. Uni means one. Uh, let's see. The Indian rhino weighs uh, 18, between 1,800 and 2,700 kilograms. That's four to 6,000 pounds. 
stands two meters or seven feet high at the soldier and is about 3.5 meters or 11 and a half feet long. And they're about the same size as the uh, rhinos, the white rhinoceros of Africa. So, uh, when did a rhinoceros become a horse with a horn sticking out of its head. How did that happen? Yeah. So, you know, this is the, uh, the garbage that we get from the world. I mean, what can I tell you? You know, it's... They purposely do this stuff. You know, there's not a there's not a reason in the world for them to change the rhino to a horse, except for to make fun of the Bible. And let me tell you something. A rhino cannot be domesticated. Like there's a difference between the Indian elephants and the African elephants. In Thailand and Burma, or what they call Myanmar now, they, they've been using elephants for many, many hundreds of years, if not thousands of years, Indian elephants. They use them to take their trunks, to pick up logs and do work with them. You know, they're sort of like their, uh, their bulldozers and cranes over there. They can get them when they're young and train them. You try to do that to an Indian elephant, he'll stomp you to death. Yeah, he'll just step on you. You're dead. An Asian elephant, show a little love. You can, you know, train it just like you can train a dog or you can train a horse. You know, they if you go to Thailand, uh, they have shows with elephants. So, so there's a difference between the Asian animals and the African animals, not just the rhinoceros, but the elephants as well. So when did the rhino become a horse? Good question. And I don't have the answer, but I'm sure the devil and his children do it to mock the Bible. You had better believe that. So all right, well, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.